The state television company Western Armenia represents the most important news for today. Good day. Today's broadcast. Intellectual property, genetic resources in Western Armenia, Lydia Markosyan. Hayakwe submitted a criminal application regarding border demarcation. The first defense consultation between the ministers of defense of Eastern Armenia and the Republic of India. Famous stars want to buy the Armenian church for sale in Sebastia. A 165-year-old tombstone with Armenian writing was found in Harberg. Baku destroyed the foundation of Perzor's 10 Astvatadzin church. On May 14, 14, in Geneva, Diplomatic Conference of Intergovernmental Committee on Intellectual Property in Genetic Resources, Traditional Knowledge and Folklore was held organized by the United Nations World Intellectual Property Organization. The delegation of Western Armenia was also participating in the conference. The President of the Republic of Western Armenia, Lydia Markosyan, stated that the presence with the license of Western Armenia is quite important because the Armenians of Western Armenia are physical indigenous people and have been been living on the land of their ancestors for more than 10,000 years and indeed they have a responsibility for effective protection. She noted that the delegation of Western Armenia will make a final work on the project to protect the rich heritage of Western Armenia. You can watch the full interview of the President, Ms. Lydia Markosyan, on the YouTube page of Western Armenia TV. Hayakfe. Uh, submitted a criminal application regarding border demarcation. The Hayakwe initiative submitted an application to the General Prosecutor's Office today demanding to open a criminal case regarding the so-called border demarcation process. The head of the initiative, Avetik Chalabian, told journalists that the process taking place today in Tavush region is illegal. According to the authors of the application, Deputy Prime Minister Mahir Grikoyan exceeded this power. Today we brought a report about the crime regarding the demarcation process itself. This process, which takes place on the basis of the declaration of the commissions of both sides, is outside the law because our domestic processes provide that the border of Armenia can be determined only on the basis of international agreement. International agreements, if concluded, must be approved by the Constitutional Court and ratified by the National Assembly. However, Article 205 of the Constitution requires that the international agreements that refer to the territory of the Republic of Armenia should also be adopted through a popular referendum. The commission that is dealing with it has taken upon itself the obligation that the demarcation that will take place for the joint work of those two commissions will be considered demarcated. That is, it will be our state border. It is, of course, a gross violation of all our legislation and rights, he mentioned. According to Chalabian, today in Tavush, the territories of the Armenian villages are being handed over to the enemy and any official taking that step will exceed his authority. Our criminal code clearly defines the abuse of power that if it happened through an organized group and caused significant damage, then it is an aggravation circumstances and the perpetrators is executed to be imprisoned for four, eight years. Now we have come to hand over the crime report and we will strictly pursue that a criminal case be initiated on the basis of that report, he said. Chalabian mentioned that the Armenian troops should not be withdrawn from Tavush, a new border should be established for the movement of troops and a new border can only be established through a referendum. On May 14, in the administrative complex of the Ministry of Defense Eastern Armenia and the first defense consultations between the Ministers of Defense of Armenia and India took place. The head of the Department of Defense Police, International Cooperation of the Minister of Defense of Eastern Armenia, Levon Ivazan, and the Joint Secretary of the Ministry of Defense of India for International Cooperation, Sri, under the chairmanship of Vishwan Negi, reports the press service of the Ministry of Defense. India's Ambassador Extraordinary and Plenipotentiary to Eastern Armenia, Linakshi Sahasinha, and Military Attached Brigadier General Navin Nijvahavan also participated in the consultation. During the consultation, the course and development development prospects of Eastern Armenia-India cooperation in the field of defense were discussed, including in military, technical, personal, military education and tactical training, exchange of experience and other fields. Issues related to regional security were also discussed. Levon Ivazan presented the ongoing reforms in the armed forces of Eastern Armenia. At the end of the consultations, the protocol on the result of the consultations was signed, which provided for the establishment and approval of the joint working group on bilateral defense cooperation between the Ministers of Defense of Eastern Armenia and India for 2024-2025 with a cooperation plan, the message states. 
Դարմին ինչորջնովուն է Սուրպ կարապետոր Սուրպ աստվատածին, ոս պուտապ վորսել ինդ է հավիկ պրովինս ավ Սեպայստյան։ Դի չարս սպոզինգլի իս պիլտ ինդ է 19-ին սենչորի ինդ իս բինգ սոլտ վոր 16 միլիոն թարկիշ լիարս, մանի բայարս ապիար սինս իտ ոս պուտ ապ վոր այուկշն։ Հիպորդ թարկիշ իլ հաս նյուս այջնսի, ակորդինգ թու դը սորդ, դեր այս ոսո վեմս տարս ամանգ դոս հուվոն թու բայ դը արմինին չորդ, սեն կարապետ որ սեն դաստվատած Abdul Wahab, Yildiz, who deals with sales issues, told the reporter of the Turkish news agency that there are both Turkish and foreign buyers among those who want to buy the church. It is noteworthy that among those who want to buy the church, there are also famous stars whose names are not published. Yildiz specially noted that after the church was put up for auction, there was an extremely high demand. He also reported that the church is in need of restoration as it has been used for many years by local villagers for various purposes. It is not worth it that it is planned to carry out the sale transaction under conditions of strict confidentiality and in the presence of a notary. Although an approximate price of 16 million Turkish lira has been set, it is planned to set a preliminary price of 5 million during the auction. The selling real estate agent also emphasized that they want to sell the church to someone who will be able to renovate it and, if possible, reopen it as a place of worship. A 165-year-old Armenian carved stone was found as a result of digging in the city of Harbert in Western Armenia. As the Argos periodical reports, it is assumed that what was found is a tombstone. The stone, dated 1851, was found during the excavation work carried out as part of the renovation of the church in the area. Elon Hatcher, a specialist in art history, expressed his belief that there is a high probability of finding other similar stone in the area. After studying the stone, it was transferred to the Yelazik Museum. Baku destroyed the foundation of Berzor's St. Astvatatin church. A few days ago, another case of culture of vandalism in Azerbaijan was spread by our partner, the Foundation for the Study of Armenian Architecture, which was also documented on Azerbaijan Telegram channels. This time, Azerbaijan destroyed the Holy Church of Berzor, the construction of which was completed in 1998, and the Dome Cross was consecrated on May 41 of the same year. The architect of the church was Racha Kasparyan, and the construction was led by Georgi Arakelian. The authors of the artistic decoration of the church were the famous sculptor Artashes of Sepian, the painter Karo Makarchan, the woodworker Vano Dadoyan. According to Article 4 of the 1954 Hague Convention on the Protection of Culture, property in the time of armed conflict and additionally article 15 point uh, of the second protocol adopted in 1999 the damage done to the church of the holy of Berzor is a serious violation which as a war crime can be persecuted in international courts the deliberate destruction of the church also violates article 8 of the Rome status and is considered a grave crime against humanity. The destruction of the Holy Church in Berzor leaves deep emotional and cultural consequences being considered a gross violation of the right to the culture of Artsakh, Armenians and all Armenians. The first universal guarantee of cultural rights is defined by the Declaration on Human Rights and Fundamental Freedoms in its Article 27. Everyone has the right to participate freely in the cultural life of the community, to enjoy the arts, to participate in the scientific progress and its benefits. In in addition, Article 4 of the Universal Declaration on Cultural Diversity and Paragraph 4 of Human Rights Council Resolution 1023 state that no one may violate their human rights guaranteed by international law nor limit their scope. Likewise, no one should be excluded from access to cultural practices values. Paragraph 22, World Organized Doc and the destruction of the church is also a gross violation of the cultural rights of creative individuals, architect, builders, sculptures. Thank you for your attention. Goodbye. Hai da kan im tun nang ine voch de tank. Yes, tun ein so stum pa hats mi era sank. Vor vor sti sai tam pa tera zerkero mi ram ratsni. O jah pa pa kan i shenatsni. Hai da nike im ang ine voch de tank. Jens i chi voch mi maturu voch mi van. Hai ho hinci pa kasi voch horovelu voch gutan. Zakhelu jest unoriti majestat.